Hello, we are discussing about the GET solutions 1990 ECE paper. The topic we are discussing is electron devices. This is second one more question. In a uniformly doped abrupt PN junction, the doping level of the N side is 4 times the doping level of P side. The ratio of the depletion layer width is A. 0.25 B 0.50 C 1.0 D 2.0 For a uniformly doped abrupt PN junction, the doping level of N side is more, 4 times more than P side. Then the width on N side compared to P side, whether it is going to be small or large, what is the ratio? That is what the question asks. The correct answer for this question is 0.25. 0.25 is the correct answer. We will see the details now. Given doping concentration on N side is 4 times more than P side. This is what given. Doping level of N side is 4 times more than the P side. So, doping level of N side is treated as donor concentrations indicated with N suffix D and doping on N side P side is treated as acceptor concentration that is NA so ND is equal to 4 NA now we need to calculate the ratio of width on N side to P side that is WN by WP this is what a simple PN junction a PN junction is going to be formed with the help of positive ions on N side and negative ions on P side near the PN junction and other sides P side and N side it is going to be neutral ok so this is what depletion region where the positive and negative ions are going to be accumulated near the junction and we know that one how many number of positive ions on N side equal number of negative ions will be on the P side that implies in depletion region the number of positive ions on N side is equal to always number of negative ions on P side so charge on N side is equal to charge on P side that is the meaning so within the depletion region or within P region and N region always the charge is going to be same because if you are going to say P side at that time the other side is neutral so only charge present on this depletion region so in depletion region charge on N side is equal to charge on P side that is number of positive ions on N side is equal to number of negative ions on P side now charge how do we calculate charge is nothing but charge is going to be obtained by multiplying volume on N side with volume charge density on N side likewise charge on P side can be obtained by multiplying volume charge density on P side into volume of P side so to calculate volume we are going to check this is the PN junction and this PN junction if you are going to be thinking in three dimensional point of view this is going to be the area so this area is going to be common for N side as well as P side depletion region so that this is common area and to get volume area will be multiplied by WN to get volume on N side area will be multiplied by WP to get the volume on P side so rho V volume charge density that is nothing but how many number of ions you may get at most that is nd number of ions we will get on n side and na number of ions we will get on p side and each ion is going to be having a charge of q so that volume charge will be equal to rho v n volume charge on n side is q times of nd whereas rho v p is nothing but volume charge on p side that is q times of n a volume on n side is area into w n volume on p side is area into w p so nd into wn is equal to na into wp this is very very important equation because of equal charge on p side and n side we are going to get con this conclusion nd into wn is equal to na into wp from this one we can give one conclusion if na is equal to nd that implies whenever the PN junction is equally doped on P side and N side then width of depletion region is going to be same on P side and N side 
so if p side and n side doping concentrations are same then width of depletion region is also same in p side as well as n side case b if acceptor concentration is more than donor concentration then from this equation 1 acceptor concentration is more so that width on p side is going to be less together the charge on both sides is going to be same so that wp is less than wn so acceptors that implies nothing but p side is heavily doped compared to n side but heavily doped implies nothing but width will be small that side lightly doped is nothing but width will be large same c case if na is less than nd that is if p side is lightly doped and n side is heavily doped by that time width will be more penetrated into p side so from this equation only one conclusion is nothing but the depletion region penetrates more into lightly doped side than heavily doped side depletion region penetrates equally whenever p n sides are going to be equally doped if p n sides are unequally doped by that time the depletion region is going to be penetrated more into lightly doped side from this one from equation one we can say that one na into wp is equal to wn into nd so wn by wp can be written as na by nd given nd is equal to 4 times of na so na by 4 times of na which implies nothing but wn by wp is 1 by 4 so the ratio is nothing but 0.25 one important conclusion you have to remember is na into wp is always equal to wn into nd so depletion region penetrates more into lightly doped side the correct answer for the given question is 0.25 thank you